Good morning. It's Saturday, and I just thought I would uh, play and paint. So since I still had some of that uh, craft paper out, I decided to uh, use that. Now, in order to make this craft paper less porous and etc. etc., I'm going to use a little bit of. Um, I'm going to cover it with Liquitex matte medium before. before I get to uh, putting on some gesso. Gesso would probably do the job. But, as you can see, I have not used... Oh, there you are. I have not used this too often lately. And it will permit me to make this... Uh, to make this craft paper nice and safe. I'm going to go more or less up to the edges here. I'm just going to put one coat of this on. up the pores and we'll close up the pores in this uh, cheapo paper and I thought I hear you saying to yourself well Carol <coughs> if you don't go through all that why didn't you use a little bit better paper to start with and I guess the best answer I have there is I don't wanna that's going to get on this planet. I'm give this a little uh, a little clean off here. There we go. It's already drying. And does it have uh, pops go with the weasel on here? Absolutely. Yes, it does. And we're going to just get right past that because when this thing really is completely dry, it will it will be much better. It's not going to be a miracle, of course, but it'll be better. Now, since I'm going to be using colors. I thought I'd just put a, a nice go of uh, gesso on here. Let's see if we can't. Uh, also remove that because if I I overdid it a little bit, one never knows how much exactly is going to get the job done. So here we go. Uh, paper that's going to stand whatever I put on top. But it's going to take a while to dry enough to suit me, so I just thought I'd show you the, uh, the housekeeping bits.
before I got back and we started to play. Clean up time. Good morning. This piece of paper has had an overnight dry time. And if you remember, it has one layer of uh, Liquitex matte medium and some <coughs> gesso. And these marks are not wrinkled. This is it has dried just as flat as I could possibly want it to. Now I have my trusty water, a towel, and I took out light, my light shades of everything. Uh, ceram coat, pale yellow, cantaloupe, Hydrangea Pink, Sweet Pea, Tropic Bay Blue, not Ceramco, Americana, I don't know how this got into the crew, but it's here. Oh, Citron Green, and Off-White, um, Oyster White in Ceramco. And now, I just want to get these, uh, get the background covered up. That simple. We're going to get the background covered up here. Yes, we are. And we're going to have absolutely perish the thought that we should have, and we're going to go from one color right into the next, perish the thought that we should, uh, we should think about this too much, just because we're not going to. And we're going to scrub it in just to take the color off there. Hmm, let's have a little... Um, Let's have a little pink. Let's rub these edges into each other. Let's have a little bit more uh, pink up here. Why not? Just rubbing. Just scrubby rubbing. And how about a little bit of all oh, purple and purple and yellow should make mud, so let's be careful here. We'll drag it down this way. This is, uh, how about a little, uh, how about a little green in here? Oh, this could be tricky business. Let's do some green here now. And this is working so nicely, uh, moving around so nicely because it's on, uh, it's on gesso. And, um, Chose the lightest colors, the most insipid colors I could find to do this. Get it right up to the edge. <coughs> I'm like the plan is, I do have some plan, my plan is to um, make this into a little, um, a little notebook cover. There we go. Now let's see what we can do with some uh, covering up with some off-white here. The colors will be there, but they'll just be peeking. Notice I have not added much, if any, water here.
It's blending in. It's blending into a nice, hardly there background. I'm tilting my head way over to the side so that I can see if I have any dry spots here. Not that it would make one iota of difference. Thought I was going to get away with it. Mm -mm. Caught you. Okay. out of that brush. <coughs> this is a, uh, it came in a package, Premier Ameth Amethyst Angle Shader, 5 8 inch. Got a bunch of them to use as junk brushes for um, this um, and they came in quite a package and I'm quite happy with them. Now, what shall we do? Because look what we have left. Look what we have left. We just use up that on here. But we don't have much of this, so we have, let's just use those up. That's not soppy at all. Now, something, something. just to put a background down now. What's that? Oh, I know what that is. I know what that is. Let's see what's here. Let's see what's here. That's doable. A variation on those flowers, which would be nice in the background. Come on, come on, let's go here now. I know you're here because I use you enough. Nothing jumbo, nothing crazy. Where are we? <laughs> there we are. Investments about four years ago by Plaid in uh, Macy Moore. 25 of these, now these are on paper, 25 of these for 50%. Uh, you know, I had a coupon, so they uh, 25 of them for uh, $10. Wondering, could that be? I 
don't think I would do that, but I might have. <laughs> I did. I'm glad I checked. So, bingo. Okay. That means that I used uh, Distress in a brush somewhere. And because this is paper, what will we do? Hmm. Let's just see what happens if we just do this. Just a little mention. Just a little mention here and there. I think instead of uh, instead of leaves we'll use this leafy color on the tiny guys. Sound like a plan? Let's see what happens. They're all, the colors are all very light. Therefore they're hardly going to show but they're there. Yes they are. They are. I do hope you have something enjoyable to do with friends and family or in your craft room over the weekend. solution to uh, cleaning a sponge get a lot of wear and tear out of it that way yes okay that's got to get moved on those dry <laughs> okay we're finished with that one let's go for uh, tropic bay We'll have one down here. One here. Why not? We're just playing. down here. Now shall we have a peek? Yeah, a little something on a little something. A little something is happening.
one down here. And one up here. This is a feast in um, in insipid background, so we are going to have to play uh, get some serious attitude going here with the rest of it. I haven't the slightest where we're going, but that's a good thing. I'm the girl who picked these uh, palest of each uh, possibility of my colors. So now I get to what was it? something going here. This is, a, is about as close as we're going to get to a color that has a life of its own. Did we miss anything? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Let's see if we can just do something like that right there. Okay. Holding down, turning up. are going to dry now. Is there anything else? Oh, yes, I see a little spot right here. I see a little spot right there. Hang off. Hang right off up there, and it's going to be purple. gets an opportunity to dry, and these get thrown out, and I'm going to put my paints away, and we're going to let this dry, and then we're going to decide what's going to happen. Something has to happen. Let's see if you can get a little closer to see what we have thus far. Feeling a little stamping. Yes, I am. We'll be back when this is dry. Well, I have had my lunch and time to have a think, and I have changed my mind. A little bit here. 
decided to add those two bits here because I just love these. This letter from 1863, and it's uh, vellum, so I thought that it would do nicely just to add a little something something. And I'm going to use this uh, Distress Collage Medium that my friend uh, Andrea on uh, Artie Mays just swears by for attaching uh, for attaching collage. Work a special treat with um, with uh, vellum. Now this is a little close to the edge, but not to worry. This is a not to worry project. Oh, and I found the. Um, I found the bits of uh, the papers that I'm going to use on the inside of this little notebook and uh, they're very special and so that's made me happy. I was wondering what am I going to put inside of this and the answer came over lunch. Oops, some of this uh, it's moving a little bit because it's uh, inkjet. That's okay. That will do just fine. Vellum. There we go. It doesn't want to sit down the way it ought to right there, but there again. We can only do our best while having fun making the 100 day project number 10. goes down beautifully on top of this because it's all um, permanent. And this last, this last biggie right here. So decided that I'm going to use my very favorite stamp on the front of this just because it's my very favorite stamp and I can't leave it alone for very long. Nope, I can't. So to uh, this way and I'm going to take this and wash it because I don't want a uh, I don't want this to cause a problem here well as you can see I have been doing a lot of housekeeping 
I've given this plenty of opportunity to dry, and I have uh, cut the uh, papers for inside of this uh, of this booklet, and I will leave those over there to share with you in a moment. Now, I've also decided that it is time for me to use my very favorite to use my very favorite stamp because I think it will be just the right just the right finish and I'm going to use ground espresso here and here and here on the front because I think it will look nice with the uh, papers that I've chosen for the inside. Oops, not too good on Grand Espresso. Well, we will just get that again. Hmm. I'm not happy with Grand Espresso. Hmm. What will we use? Ever will we use? Let's look. Let's see. First of fine is, uh, yes, first of fine seems to be wet, wet enough to do this job. enough to uh, make this blend. Make this blend in here. And let's have some more up here. Much better. Fine does seem to lay down a good amount of ink when you need it. Let's have some right there. some of the top and bottom. How about this way? Now, let's have, let's turn this over, because this is going to be uh, wet for a while. And 
this is the top, and that's the center of the inside cover. So I'm going to add just a little bit. Just a little bit in here. Now this should pick up fairly well because I, we didn't do anything to this uh, craft paper. Here. One more, fingers crossed. And one more here. Very good. Now, I'm going to show you the uh, papers that I've chosen uh, because it's going to take this uh, quite a while to dry and I don't, uh, I don't want to help it along. I want it to just uh, dry on its own. In fact, I'm going to turn this, get rid of this one, get a fresh one. This one down right here so that it can dry. And I picked this brown and white to do a uh, three hole pamphlet stitch to close up our, um, to sew up our signature into our notebook. And let me show you the uh, papers I have picked. Some very, very special and pretty uh, handmade papers that I found in a store that was going out of sale, uh, going on sale, uh, sorry, going out of business. So things were on sale. This is one piece of paper. Isn't it lovely with the inclusions? Here is a piece of our uh, craft paper. And look at this for the center. I'm going to put that, I'm going to switch this. This is supposed to be the center of our signature. Isn't this exquisite paper? Someone actually managed to get those strings between two pieces of paper. And another piece of craft paper. And this beauty with the, uh, with the gold embellishments inside of it. Isn't that just lovely? And I thought it would be just perfect for inside of our uh, rather rustic notebook. I think I will take this one and put this one here. This one, <clears throat> and this one comes out, and this one will go in here, and then this one will come here. And I will give this a chance. I'll put this under something heavy, and this will be the center of our notebook. It's going to be a while until this uh, passes muster for drying, but uh, I will, uh, I'm not going to uh, show you three 
uh, three hole pamphlet stitch because I have done it many times and you have seen it many t other people do it but uh, I will come back and the uh, uh, the uh, our cover and our uh, booklet will be together and uh, we can do show and tell let me find something good and heavy for this now We are at show and tell and I've decided that each time I arrive at a decade in other words when I get to um, 100 day project number 10 20 30 etc I'm going to do something that really pushes Carol out of the box now I'm not necessarily uh, over the edge but things that I don't often do or use or think about just to um, uh, get the brain waves moving uh, a little bit. So, if you will remember, we have a plain piece of uh, brown wrapping paper, which we had, I attached to the uh, board. I covered it with a layer of uh, Liquitex Mac Medium and then some um, a thin layer of gesso, which uh, dried overnight very nicely. And then I got out my uh, Ceramco paints and I scrubbed them in to give us some sort of a background. And then I picked an, um, a stencil and used some of the same colors that are in the background for the stencil and let that dry. And then I did a little bit of um, uh, sepia pen work around the outside of the uh, uh, to bring out the uh, the design of the uh, stencil and just a little bit of uh, uh, something something on the uh, on the center of the flowers and then I decided that I needed some stamping so I chose one of my very favorite uh, script stamps and a very favorite old letter and these are in um, uh, vellum and I attached those with uh, the Distress Collage Medium Matte, which uh, was recommended by Andrea, uh, at, who was Artie Mays. Thank you, Andrea. And uh, even though this was done with inkjet, it spread around a little bit, but not too terribly. Uh, it looks certainly looks m much better when dry. Some of these are a little bit, um, have a little bit of texture to them. They're not totally flat, and I love it because it, to me it adds something. And then I had lunch and had to think. Now, sometimes having lunch and Carol are a good thing. Sometimes she thinks herself right over a cliff. So I got out my uh, very favorite stamp. And the last time we were together, um, uh, we were waiting for these um, uh, for the stamp uh, to dry, which it did. It, but it takes some time with the, when you use Distress uh, uh, ink. Then. The only thing that was left to do was a three-hole pamphlet stitch, which I wasn't going to uh, put you through again. You've seen it a good zillion times, I'm sure. And when I sat down this morning, I decided I wanted something around the edges, so I just did some um, two, uh, two rows of sewing, um, not straight, just to add a little bit of something, something to the edge. And I got out my... Uh, my machine, which of course, since I don't use it very often, I proceed each time to forget how to work it. So each time it's like a, visiting an, a, a new friend. Uh, only one call to my husband this time uh, to renew the memory banks. And I use the same cord that uh, the uh, booklet is sewn together with um, to tie this to tie this up. And here we have. Uh, the wrapping paper inside, and here are the pieces of um, handmade paper that I acquired. I was lucky enough to be there for a sale. I added a little bit of uh, the wrapping paper, a third piece of the uh, of the lovely handmade paper, another piece of wrapping paper, and this handmade paper is beyond the beyond as far as I'm concerned. These are two pieces of paper that are laid 
the time it must have taken to get these um, uh, pieces of uh, string at exact lines to make this paper because these pieces of, um, of cord of uh, I guess cord or uh, heavy string are between these two layers of paper. And here's the uh, bow tie for the inside of the uh, of the signature. And here we go through again to the back. And then I decided, hmm, I think we need a little grommeting. So, grommets and some more cord just to tie this closed. And something so, knowing Carol, something so much of a stretch and I'm, uh, I enjoyed it to death. Of course, while I was finishing this little tiny bit of housekeeping up this morning, I was thinking to myself, you know what I really want to do next. Truth to tell is uh, I want to get back to my uh, commonplace glue book because uh, it has a cover on it now and I'm ready to go. So that's what I'm going to be working on this afternoon. If you have enjoyed seeing this uh, uh, day, uh, 100 day project number 10, please consider giving me a uh, thumbs up, leave a comment, and I would appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Bye now. See you soon.